Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu my dear children how are you I hope that you're learning a lot from uh, the ayat that we are studying and you're enjoying inshallah bismillah in future you'll be able to read the whole Quran and you can go through all the ayat make sure that you are going to do this dua every single day that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala want to go through the whole Quran make it easy for me Ameen okay let's say the dua and start our sixth juz A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Rabbi Shrah Li Sadri Wa Yassir Li Amri Wa Hlul Uqtatam Min Lisani Yafqahu Qawli Ameen the ayat are A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim La Yuhibbu Allahu Al Jahra Bissu'i Min Al Qawli Illa Ma Zulim وكان الله سميعا عليما إن تبدو خيرا أو تخفوه أو تعفو عن سوء فإن الله كان عفوا قديرا. And the translation is that Allah does not like the public mention of evil except by the one who has been wronged. And Allah subhanahu wa taala is all and ever hearing. All knowing. If you show good or conceal it or pardon an offense, indeed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is ever forgiving and competent. Now it says that Allah does not like the mention of su, uh, evil. What is this su? That means bad deeds, like hurting other people with your tongue or action or saying bad words or saying or doing indecent things or blaming others using abusive language being disrespectful openly these are all the evil deeds that one can do or mention these things in front of others openly now doing bad deeds in itself is a sin and mentioning them boastfully in front of others or openly in front of others is another sin right what should be our behavior if we have committed a mistake or a sin? We seek forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if someone else has made a mistake or done some evil, then we should not mention it openly to embarrass or humiliate the other person. And we should not post it on any social media. And if we want to correct anyone, we should advise that person privately. Now, this is really important. If the bad deeds are being posted uh, on the social media so what happens every single person knows about it people get used to it and they don't feel embarrassed uh, ab about these deeds and some people get an idea of doing bad deed you never know people have different thinking and different way of perceiving things now, I'll just give you an example that bullies in the schools are such a bad thing. But what happens like if a poor child is being beaten up, instead of helping that child, people start to make videos and then posting that video on social media, on um, Instagram or Facebook or whatever. Now, what happens with saying this bad deed openly and posting it on the media what happens the person who is getting beaten up gets so humiliated so embarrassed that now people know his face and then there are other bullies who are watching that video thinking that look while this child is being beaten up nobody is helping so it is good to be a bully and they get encouragement for doing bad deed allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not like it now what should we do we should try to fix that problem personally with the help of the teachers and the friends and principal and parents instead of posting these kind of videos in public. Uh, same way, if someone lies uh, or they are boastfully telling other people that, look, I lied and I cheated and I got away with this. Now, this is an evil deed in itself. Lying is a bad deed and then telling others about your bad deed boastfully is another sin. So tell me, is this right? No, instead he should repent and think that if I did not get uh, caught in this world, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watching, angels have written it down and on the day of judgment I'll 
be questioned about this deed now if this person is giving an idea to others to lie and cheat and get away with things then he is going to be sinful himself and all those people who are going to follow him and do the same bad deed he is going to get a portion of their bad deeds as well just imagine there are hundreds and thousands and millions of followers or people who are uh, uh, watching or following these kind of stories so if they are going to do the same this person is going to get a portion of that bad deed and on the day of judgment he is going to be questioned about it allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us that there is an exception and that is that who can mention uh, the bad thing the person who is being wronged let's say somebody got bullied by some people in school now that mention in public is bad but you can go to those people who can help you and mention that this is the boy or the girl who is bullying me and i am scared so this mention is okay where you are trying to get help that is fine now i'll tell you a story uh, that in the time of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam a man came to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and said my neighbor bothers me so much now he was trying to get help and he went to the person who could help him right so he needed advice he said my neighbor is bothering me all the time and i am fed up with this situation so prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam told him to put all your household stuff outside the house and sit with it so his other neighbors passed by and they they said what is happening why are you outside he would say my neighbor next door neighbor he bothers me so much i can't even go inside so they started to say one neighbor said oh my god this is such a bad neighbor of yours and another neighbor came and he said such a bad neighbor now this a person who was bothering he came running towards his neighbor and said i'm so sorry i'm not going to bother you anymore come inside the house and please excuse me please forgive me so while the neighbor was not listening to anyone and he was not fixing himself locally in the neighborhood he was being fixed he didn't have to go out and scream and shout and cry for help uh, his neighbor understood his mistake and fixed himself it would have been very embarrassing for him to go to the masjid and all the people of medina would know about him but how was the difficulty fixed locally n- near his house a few people knew and then the people knew that he fixed himself and he- people appreciated him now the next ayah is that if you do any good and show it or hide it or forgive some kind of uh, mistake Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is all forgiving and all authoritative. It's such a beautiful uh, thing that uh, our religion tells us that sometimes we need to do good deed openly so that other people are going to get in- encouraged. Sometimes we have to do it like I am helping this person and the money is not enough would you like to put your share too and you uh, uh, ask people to join in and they join in with you in the good deed. so you are going to get your good deed and the uh, reward for encouraging others as well that's such a beautiful idea and sometimes you know that people are in trouble but they don't want the other people or community to know that they are needy and they have their self respect which they don't want to lose so if at that time you hide your good deed you help them and you don't tell anyone and you respect their privacy that is also a beautiful good deed and if you can't do any good deed openly or secretly even if you forgive someone that is such a big thing in the eyes of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to forgive you as well because he has all the authority to hold you accountable for all the bad deeds that you've done but still he is going to forgive you and pardon you why because you uh, forgave someone else subhanallah that's that is also really good if someone comes to you and he or she tells you that i'm really sorry don't say that i'm not going to accept your sorry because you say sorry all the time no you say inshallah okay that's fine but don't do this again and that is such a good gesture because the other people are going to get encouraged to forgive others right so what did we learn from these ayat 
that we are not going to say any bad thing openly no abusive language no lies no cheating no mentioning of any other bad deed that people are doing in front of others so that they are going to get promoted or people are going to get encouraged uh, or get used to bad language or bad deeds uh, rather we should do what we should try to fix that problem or fix others secretly privately so that they are not going to get embarrassed or uh, their ego is not going to get hurt and they are going to fix themselves and what are the things to do we should do more good deeds we should say good things we should bring comfort to other people's life we should bring smile to other people's faces we should help others to come out of trouble and even though islam gives us the right to take revenge but to get forgiveness from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we should try to forgive them right we should say this to allahumma hdi qalbi wa saddid lisani waslul saqimata sadri which means oh allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide my heart fix my tongue and take away the hardness of my heart i should have a very soft heart very good tongue and a guided heart amen subhanak allahumma wa bihamdika nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilaik assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullah